After less than three months of planning, Valley Vista for Gens is up and running. Everyone has worked very hard and quickly to get this place open. The new 19-bed women's treatment facility currently has 12 patients and a little over 20 employees. We had a, a waiting list uh, at the Bradford facility of about 30 plus women. Once accepted, the women have packed schedules, participating in both group and solo therapy sessions, yoga classes, and more. I don't think this opioid use disorder issue is going to go away soon in the state of Vermont. Uh, we're seeing more and more folks surfacing every day coming on our waiting list uh, for residential, for outpatient, for medication-assisted treatment. After Maple Leaf suddenly closed in January, officials were left scrambling to place those struggling with addiction. The opening date for a new treatment hub in St. Albans, first announced last summer, has been pushed back several times. That facility is now expected to open in late spring, early summer. Meanwhile, as Valley Vista officials settle into their new home in Virgins, clinical director Craig Smith says part of the battle against opiates in Vermont is remembering a key fact. Our clients are human beings. Many of them, as a result of their pathological or problematic relationship with, with addiction, have done some bad things. But at their core, they're human beings who are hurting terribly.